So you're secretly telling me, that my mom and dad are actually evil criminals who are, rude to Jordan's family? You. I never wanted to tell you this before, but the reason why we're always sending you to Uncle Mike's, is because of your safety, Rainier. When I was a youngster, like around your age, I was mind blown about what happened. Wow. This is a really interesting book. Never knew that Ozzy Osbourne was married to that talent show judge, Sharon Osbourne. This magazine on famous rock stars that my bestie Jarvis gave me was so good. Honey, do you have the pistols and knives ready to fight the field banks? This is honesty going to be a great chance to heist their own house. Oh man, we are totally ready to take down every last member in that house. I am totally ready my love. Let's take down those stupid people. Call your sister Mila, and I'll go call my sister Leslie and my brother Luther. This is going to be really insane. We are definitely not inviting your brother, right? There is no definite way that my brother Mike Cypress will ever fight. I mean, this dude always got distracted and he never did one crime with us. He only cared about 80s rock music and playing his stupid drums. That's why I'm never inviting him for my schemes. Go get the kids as well so we can get more backup except our two youngest. Act innocent with them since they're too young. Wait, what, what are my parents doing? And why are my siblings, uncles, and aunts are getting involved? This is so weird. Why are my parents doing this? I then started to worry. My parents were about to attack another residence, which was their rivals, the field banks. My parents were always nice to me, but why would they hide something from me? I knew I needed to do something. I decided I needed to get some help. So, I was sneaky enough to head out of the house. I knew I needed him, but who was I going to ask? I knew what I had to do. I would talk to my Uncle Mike, since he knew about a lot of that stuff, since he was like that around my age. Wait, Uncle Mike, the member of my family that barely gets involved in anything. This is going to be so cool. Wait, Uncle Mike was never part of the troublemaking family? How? Well, remember that new movie, Encanto, that had that song called, We Don't Talk About Bruno? Well, Michael was like what people thought Bruno was actually like. He was an outcast, and some believe that one day, he left the family, and disappeared. However, that was not the case here. Uncle Mike was recently moving in a Victopolis apartment, and I knew where he was. Excuse me sir. Do you know where Mike Cypress's room is? I'm his nephew, and I need to know his apartment number. Of course, kid. Go down to room 120, and you'll see him there. Just give the door a knock, and he'll answer. Okay, this looks like the number the receptionist said. Royce, why aren't you with adult supervision right now? I'm just concerned. Every time you visited me, your parents came along. I'm actually not really here for a nice visit, Uncle Mike. I had a question I wanted you to ask. Really? What's the question that you have for me? Was there anything that my parents hid from me? What I mean by that is, why are my parents? siblings, uncle, and aunts troublemakers. Well, now since you're finally old enough to understand, I think I can tell you. When I was your age, we were recently bankrupted by the Fields Banks. Your grandpa decided, with no respect, stole from the Fields Banks house and claimed all the money for themselves. Your Aunt Leslie also recently did something terrible around the time by beating up three high school students with a club, almost choking one of the girls. This led to my brother thinking that it was cool, and he started joining him, by breaking bathroom mirrors, stealing stuff from other kids, and even robbing banks, without anyone knowing. Later on, your dad married your mom, since she was really into stuff like that as well, and really had a big affair with the field's banks. This led to more violence, but me, being a 15 year old once your father got married, leave the house without anyone knowing. I slept on streets most of the time, and barely had any money for food. Luckily, I was able to find a nice restaurant worker who understood about abuse, warped family behavior, and propaganda. He told me, forget about them, do your own thing. So that's why many family members thought that you disappeared. You were just different than everyone else. If I can change my behavior and not care about the violence in your family, then you can too. 
I can sometimes lend you my place to stay, since I have a four-person room. I won a contest in the hotel, for eating the most pies, and my prize was this room. Say, maybe I can even help you out with ongoing problems, and maybe you can keep me updated about stuff like this. Thank you so much Uncle Mike. I care about you the most. Thanks for answering my question. I'll come to stay once in a while. See you later kid. I'll see you real soon. Alright, it's time for me to go eat my chicken patties, since they're probably going to be cold once I keep them out too long. And that's what happened Rainya. Remember this my bro, try not to go listen to the violence, do the thing you like the most. Wow. That was a wonderful backstory. I really hope I become a guy like you someday, since you seem like a very nice brother. I love you so much bro. Thanks so much Rainya. I love you too.